Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Helen of Helen Phelan Studio and today is a 15 minute Pilates based cardio class where you're going to be working on both your glutes and your balance. And by balance, I mean a sneaky way of saying your core. So if you enjoyed this class, please subscribe, like, and share it with someone you know who likes a really tough Pilates class. I'll see you on the mat. Hello and welcome back to Helen Phelan Studio. Today we have a body weight hit workout for you that is along the, the same lines, the same theme as everything else in the Listening to Your Body collection. So without further ado, we'll go ahead, get you warm, and then get started with some mindful cardio. Feet are hip width apart, knees are soft, and we start with a little gentle head circle all the way up and around, letting go of any tension there in the neck. And when you've completed that in both directions, you can go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest and roll forward. Reach your hands to the floor. Bend your knees as much as you need to to do so. And then I'm going to sink into my left hip. Peel the right arm off the ground. Look up at that top hand. Maybe a circle of the hand. And then fold it back to the floor. Sink into your right hip. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left. And circle at that top hand once again. We're doing lots of twisting today. Folding forward, walk it all the way out to either your plank or your knee plank, either or squeezing through those glutes with your chest pushed away from the floor on that exhale, and then allowing a little push up using your scapula on the inhale. Inhaling down, exhaling to drive yourself right back up for three, two, really squeeze your glutes. Last one, step that right foot all the way forward. Scoot it forward until the, the heel, the foot, is all the way underneath the knee. And you're going to, excuse me, you're going to twist open to the right. Take it back to the floor and twist open to the left. We're doing tons of twisting today, so we'll do that just one more time. Make sure our back is nice and happy. Last time to the left. We're gonna step through that plank. Two hands on the ground, step it out, change it out, opposite foot forward. Tuck your tailbone under, enjoy that stretch through the hips. We rotate up to the sky and back down, opposite side. Rotate up to the sky and back down. Last time on either side. We're doing three moves, we're doing them four times. Step back to plank, hold that plank nice and strong. And just give yourself a shift forward, a shift back if you're on your knees, a little bit like a, a squat and a shift front to further wake up that core for another five. Elbows pointing back towards the toes. Four, three, two, one, down dog. So let's go through the moves. Get them in our body. Pedal through your feet a few times. And then we can go ahead and jump right into the cardio flow. So move one is going to be kicking your right leg up to the sky for a three-point down dog, crossing it into that opposite elbow, and kicking it right back up. We're going to do that for 40 seconds. Up to the sky, into the cross. Once you've done that for 40 seconds, you're going to step your right foot all the way forward. You're going to hop the left leg in. Use the abdominals to rise up to your high lunge here. Arms will reach up and overhead. You're going to hug the knee to the chest, reach it back out for knee drives with intensity, with speed. That's 40 seconds as well. And then you swivel to face the front. And I'm going to go into a lateral lunge. So I'm going to shift into a bent left leg. I got a nice crack there in my hips. A bent left leg. And then stand up on that left leg. Whoo, balance. And twist towards the right. So it's down low and twist for a little extra obliques. If the twisting is throwing your balance off, you can also just come up through the center, whatever feels good for you. So we'll do that 40 seconds each for all of those moves and we're gonna go through it four times. And as always, we're gonna drop our timing in half for the second two rounds. So not too bad, quick, dirty, we're out of here. Let's bring it out to that downward facing dog. This is going to be our three-point dog to our mountain climber cross, starting in two, 40 seconds, and one, right leg up to the sky. Enjoy the stretch. Crunch it in. Stretch. 
crunch, stretch, crunch. So yes, there's that urgency that comes with our high intensity work, but I don't want to flail through it. That's where the listening to your body really comes in. This is all really controlled. That control, that power is what's making this class so intense today. We're not really jumping around. There's not a ton of speed. It's all about the intention. Exhaling in. Just a few more seconds here. Left leg should be feeling nice and happy. We're reaching that left heel towards the ground. Last one. Right foot all the way forward. Enjoy that low lunge for a moment. Circle out through your back foot. Give a little stretch through the back ankle. And then you're just going to hop that back foot in a few inches to rise up. Arms come up and overhead. Try not to let your shoulders shrug. We go for knee drives. 40 seconds. It's on. Knee in. Knee in. Use those obliques to drive the knee to your chest. I'm staying nice and low on that front leg. Push through the air with both the knee and the arms. See, I changed my focus and I fell over. Stay focused. Keep the weight in that front heel and your right heel. Stay with me another 10 seconds. Left oblique should feel this, especially if you're doing this in addition to the fully embodied, fully sweating, 30 minute express feeling good mat class. Last one. Spin to the front. Okay. <laughs> Shift your weight into that lateral lunge. Take the hands behind your head. So we were just putting all the stress in our right hip. Now it's shifting over to our left hip. Hips are square to face the front of the room. You're gonna come up to a twisting balance. Down to your lateral lunge, 40 seconds. Let's go. Up to twist, down. Up to twist, down. If we go too fast here, we're definitely gonna fall over, right? It's not easy. Remember what I said about listening in. Take your time. Do it with power and intensity. Not mindless movement, never mindless movement. Make sure you're breathing. Another few seconds here, twist. Feel that connection to the core. On that rotation, ring out the spine. Last two, one, and step it up. Give a few little love taps to that left outer hip area. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We're gonna jump right into side two. I'm gonna turn around, change up my facing. Left leg is gonna be the kicking up leg. Just wanna make sure I don't hit my plant. We're good, all right. Let's kick that left leg up to the sky. Dig down through the right heel. Enjoy that stretch through the right. Let's go, 40 seconds, crunch it in, kick it up. Crunch it in, kick it up. Now each time I come forward to plank, I'm thinking heart open, collarbones open, not coming into a C curve of my spine. Broad chest. Give me 20 more seconds here. Almost made you do double. Make sure you're breathing. That leg does not have to go super high. It's totally up to you. Totally up to whatever's feeling possible today. Just 10 more seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. This is definitely not a joke in addition to that 30-minute express mat class I was telling you about. Last one. Okay, enjoy the stretch up to the sky and step that left foot all the way through your hands. Little circle of that back ankle, once in each direction before making your way up to that high lunge. We're going into knee drives. I'm gonna face this way because when I turn to look at the camera, that's when I fall over, but we're here for 40 seconds. Let's go. Feel the right obliques really driving into your chest. Pull that knee in, pull it in. Arms are going in opposition to both challenge our mind-body coordination, some shoulder mobility, use our abs a little bit more. Stay with me for another 10 seconds. 
Can you get lower on that front leg? Whew, balance. It's okay to wobble. It's part of figuring it out. Last time. Whew. Spin to the front. If you've taken class with me before, you know that I am the queen of the wobble. It's not about making mistakes. It's about getting stronger through those mistakes. We don't get stronger unless we make the mistakes, right? Okay, hands behind the head. Sit into your lateral lunge. So now my right knee is bent. My hip is right over my knee, right is over, which is right over my ankle. Come up, twist, and down. Up to twist, down. Catch yourself and catch yourself. Freeze in the air, freeze at the bottom. Think about spiraling rib cage to that left side of the room. Make sure you're breathing. Stick with it. Get lower. Get that right butt cheek to the floor. Keep your collarbones open, those elbows wide. Last two. Last one. Set it down. Come back up. Okay, so the great news, I say this every class, you know the great news is that the hard part is over. We just did 40 seconds of work three times through twice. Twice more we're gonna do that, but just 20 seconds of work, which means less time in between, but means we're out of here very soon. So I'm gonna come back to side one. My right leg is gonna start that kick. Let's get this over with. Walk it out, find your downward facing dog. Maybe you give yourself a little pedal of the feet once or twice. And then I'll reach those heels through the floor, hug the abdominals in, right leg to the sky. Show me 20 seconds of strong crunches. Exhale in, inhale up, exhale in, inhale up. Make sure you're breathing. Almost 10 seconds to go. Shoulders never shrugging. Last one. Now, right leg to the sky, enjoy the stretch for a moment. Kick the right leg forward. Right away, I want you to set up in that high lunge position. 20 seconds of knee drive, let's go for it. Feeling that resistance as you pull the knee into your chest. Just 10 more seconds. Time flies when you're having fun. Last two and one. Swivel to face the front. Shift into a bent left leg. So I'm all about the fun transitions today. Sinking low. Let's get right into it. 20 seconds. High, low. High, low. Catch yourself at the top. Add that dynamic to it. Freeze, pause. Freeze, pause. When you play with balance, it totally changes it. Even though we're not jumping around, it's still so hard. Last time. Okay. Una mas. We're gonna do that just one more time. The end is near. Walk it out, find your downward dog. I have a little extra plank challenge for you at the end. Of course I do. Don't get too excited. Left leg up to the sky. Let's go into that mountain climber. Cross your body. Reach it back up. Cross it and reach it. Make sure you're breathing. Can you feel that exhale drawing in as you reach knee to opposite elbow? Give me two more. Take that leg up to the sky. Enjoy that stretch through the bottom leg, but step it through and bring yourself right up. Just 20 more seconds of those knee drives here. Let's go for it. Exhale. Exaggerate that breath. Really sigh each time the knee comes to your chest. Less than 10 seconds here. Come on. Get lower on that front leg. Last two. And one. And then swivel to the side. I always lose my balance when I turn back to look at the camera or look at you. This is like the most awkward stance to be in. You're gonna shift into fully into your lateral lunge. Hips, knees, ankle, all in alignment. Come on up, catch it, pause. Catch it, pause. Sometimes it takes till that very last set for us to figure out our body. 
Especially in these quickie classes. 10 more seconds. But like I said, it's all about the journey through all the wobbles and the mistakes. Last time, I promised you an extra plank. No rest, come down, walk it out. Knees or toes, your call. Squeezing into the glutes. Separate those feet as wide as your mat and just tap opposite shoulders, getting a little extra body, little extra upper body in here for four. Don't move those hips. Two, one, lower down to those elbows, don't drop yet. Stay squeezing your butt, open your heart a little bit more, and now pull the elbows in towards the toes for five, four, three, two, one. We did it. Gently place those knees on the ground, walk it back. <sighs> hands behind the back, interlock those hands together, sternum, heart up towards the sky. And another one of these head circles to close us out. Ways. All right. Told you we'd be in and out of here quickly. If you need more recovery time, more stretching, check out the Release and Restore collection. And like I said, this is super fun to do in addition to the fully embodied, fully sweat. Pilates class from this week. So I'd love to hear what that combo feels like for you. Drop that feedback in the comments or find me in our Mighty Networks group. I'll see you really soon.